Hi, welcome. When you install Arc Linux JWM or Jim's uh, Windows Manager, this is what you'll get. You get uh, a greeting from Arc Linux Welcome app. You can either update Arch Linux mirrors, but it's not needed since it's done automatically at boot up. But the button is there. The button button oh la la, is there also because this Welcome app is there on your live USB. So if you're fiddling with wireless and all that, you still have the button available to just click and say, give me the fastest Arch Linux server around. Do check them all out. Uh, one thing I'd like you to check is this conflicts info. So it's still a rule. It will stay a rule until, until Arch Linux changes it. But some of packages, some of the Lego blocks do not play together and you cannot install them or you need to do you need to say to pacman remove that one right so it's possible but it's an either this one or that one not both of them so out to start you're out and this is our new greeting uh, wallpaper so the new default wallpaper and um, then we're going to have a look at jwm so right mouse click anywhere will provide you with a menu but it's also available just it seems to flow from here but actually it's just at the top of the start button so to speak but it's basically everywhere it does give a feel of open box and no it's not it's jim's wm that's it or is it joe joe's wm i always tend to forget joe and jim so let's figure that out first <clears throat> is it joe is it jim so if there are issues, what do you do? You Google Arch Linux and it is Joe's, right? Joe's window manager. So Eric, put it in your head. Don't forget it ever, but I will. So Wing Bermuda is a default window manager for etc. etc. Go and have a look with the two and we've made this nice desktop with it. It's very minimal, uh, super C can provide you with some details if you like that kind of thing you know i do not worry about packages and about memory at all but uh, some of you like those figures there are in the conkeys super c conky is gone so we have seen the menu right mouse click with casino click here but don't forget we tend to like our d menu super shift d that's the D menu and it came from i3 and it's on most of our desktops. Not always, but most of them have something similar. Certainly if you're on a tiny window manager. So anything goes, but there is one problem. You need to know the name. Without the knowledge of the name, you can't launch it. You can't search for it. But there are things that make it easy, like print, right? Print, it was something with print. Anything with print is here like the system config printer and i'm going to add my own printer unlock the system he's going to go to add and he's going to look for the network printer i have here somewhere up there and forwards and he's going to look for my printer so things like that voila print test page no my wife complains about all the pages i'm printing so the printer is now installed simple as that but you need to know the name right otherwise you just go into the menu the menu is there I, go, I tend to click here but I can click anywhere I tend to forget it so in here somewhere print settings and all the stuff we have now <clears throat> that's interesting to know that's the same in open box there is a part this part that's generated right the line actually means uh, a delimiter say from there to there we have a, um, a function kind of uh, automatic uh, installation of, of well, menus and the rest is what we've made so do we can make more things manually you can make more things manually but well, a file manager a terminal where where everything is at so if you want to configure jwm then you need to go here and restart because well you need to make some configuration changes you can restart jwm and an exit is clear right our nice logos are here our nice logout icons are here and you choose whatever you like so that's the menu the applications getting in getting out 
reloading. And um, let's have a look at some other elements. So add remove software, that's really R for JWM. So those guys are normal. This is all customized look and feel. It's probably something you'd like to have a look at. So at some point in time, you want to change maybe the colors. So there's not much installed, which is, uh, is, is the intention of the Arclix Bs at this point in time, is to keep it rather minimal and you decide what elements you like. But you can go for an arc, an arc darker, arc darker, high contrast, relay, and a duita, right? So let's take for something, let's go for something more white. Color cannot be changed, not available. He's not on LX session, so it doesn't know. But um, the Sardi icons are here, so the only time you see them is when you open the tuner because the icons are not available. That's what makes it nice and slim. And you have here, well, the icons from here. We can actually go for another kind of totally different kind of theme like this one and have a look if it's, it's working, right? So fine, that's just working out of the box, which is cool, which is not always the case because Desktop sometimes are built up from different des from different um, desktops, like Openbox, for instance, has XFC elements and, and others as well. So you need to figure out from time to time, what is this exactly? This is Tunar. So Tunar needs to be set in, in an XFCE environment, an XFCE settings manager. But here it's a, a customized look and feel. So that's gonna work, it's Alex Appearance that's doing the job. So that's cool for us. Maybe we change into something orange and we'll see here already. Here we see something, here we don't, right? Now changing, rebooting it again will not work because this is a setting of XFCE. This is in the world of XFCE, a bubble inside my own world. And I need to do something, right? So that's, that's the trick always. So the easiest way is just to keep it like this. The other way is just to say, okay, I'll figure it out later on. Fonts, other, and well, I don't think we need anything else for it. So the anything else maybe, Control Alt M is normally what we use to evoke the settings. Um, so we don't have that. There is no, let's have a look. Sys settings we have here this guy and then the fire manager settings fix hard-coded icons all kind of this is something new that's not in every system so it looks render well it's not new but it's a piece of the one of the lego blocks we've put in here powerful control pulse audio volume control which is the way I opened up in order to have uh, my input device here to 100%. So the mic is working properly. XC terminal is interesting to know as well. F12 is gonna work, right? F12 is XFC for terminal that drops down. You update your system. So everything feels like uh, being at home and yes I'm building up to the JWM folder because of course we need to go there to learn about JWM so I'm, I was thinking of making just one video a complete video to to have a look at it and um, leave it at that so I don't see anything here Let's see at uh, XFCE settings. Well, we're talking about this tuner and you see the icon changing. Okay, so XFCE4 is probably what you should type, XFCE4. So there are elements in here that are, that can be used and that can be triggered to help set things, right? And we have here XFC4 settings manager. So we can actually ask him to come and help us 
with this mouse and touchpad with this team and go also to this guy all right now we close this up open it up again and i guess we need to reboot because uh, or maybe i don't maybe i can do a tuner tuner minus q because it's it lingers in your memory and i still see the white one so probably need to reboot but what do we do we check we go to our config folder we go to xfce4 to xconf to and now somewhere in here somewhere in here is the cursor right um, I would guess it's somewhere in here the question is where because there are lots and lots and lots of stuff in here <laughs> it's not up here somewhere up here or Eric is it in here Tunar. I don't think it's in here because these are our keyboard shortcuts so anything that's the stuff we like and love and it's not in here either so it's definitely gonna be in XFCE the question is where and is it not here so the, I'm gonna, just going over all the possible elements so we have here the Bibata Amber I guess that's the name let's have a look because uh, let's see if it's correct Bibata Amber I need to know the name of the thing so we want to have the yellow kind of guy orange kind of guy so Bibata Amber has been set correctly in GTK3 fine that's one thing to check the other thing to check is one level up Ooh, level down um, there is also GTK3 RC20 here which is Bibata Amber so that's cool as well let's make a copy Control C so Bibata Amber Bibata Amber okay so it's somewhere in this xfce too bad but um, uh, we need to figure out where it is and we actually set it so i'm afraid we just need to reboot don't think we can um uh, one of the things i did years ago <laughs> and i'll do it now as well because i forgot right what what's changing so control C control V I have a copy of XFC4 right well I'm gonna change my cursor again because I don't know which line it was again what folder it was again so I'm going to settings manager I'm gonna go to mouse and touchpad theme white again so white eyes okay close what changed I changed something what changed where did it change compare same click it's in the x settings xml so there is this line that changes from ice to amber of an amber to ice eh, whatever you like but basically i am now 100 percent certain that i did it correctly this is the copy the right is the copy and this is what xfc uses so i'm gonna put it back amber is now back and next time I boot up so it is really it is a boot up issue so I can't do that because I'm on SSD machine if you're wondering that's the machine I'm on okay so yeah um, is it as well here yeah it is as well here so what I what I'm doing now it's easier is just in the middle somewhere in the screen because you see me sometimes do this and I always tend to forget it that we have to the borders that's okay so with left mouse you can do the borders that's super but sometimes you're you're wasting time because you just can't click on on the border right you see always trouble well then you click you look at the keyboard 
to the left we have to the left of the space bar the alt button keep it pressed in now look at the mouse now you take your right mouse click and you can just drag anywhere just anywhere in whatever file and drag it the way you like that's much easier of course now this tip has been in several videos but like i say i tend to forget it myself all right so we have themes i guess we better look at what makes jwm right well i'm gonna make this video a video for always in the sense for for any desktop if you want to know what lego blocks a desktop uses well you need to know and type some names and this guy says well basically this is it this is your desktop with these elements can you imagine 331 kilobytes is a desktop yeah think about it 331.5 okay kilobyte it's a desktop and this is our our configuration the way we see it, the way we build it up and the decom from some for some applications that we have uh, the decom is a kind of database that kept, keeps track of some of the settings and jwm kit um, this, this is actually sorry that, that's the, conf the general configuration of jwm and this is the desktop so this is more important than that one now if you want to know more about an application you click on it you say let's look at some dependencies so this application needs those if those now are not installed this cannot work that's what it means and files you receive something you see receive an application in user bin the binaries and some shares some some icons svgs a vector graphics icon a license and lots of languages locale german french hungarian italian so basically these guys well not the last one maybe but all these guys really do not matter this matters that matters that matters but it's so minimal so with that we get joe's windows manager in and we give you this configuration in etc scale of course because we need to write there and everything that's gonna be written there is also been going to be given to a newly installed user in calamaris so you get these configs otherwise you won't you won't see the the nice uh, startup so this is what we're gonna discuss this is what's uh, making actually jwm all right and you can do the same here with some a variety that's out of starting with something about the fonts g calculator is here the settings <coughs> gtk htop is here nano is here nomax is here so there are some settings of some applications there some necessary some nice to have and some even you can just delete them if you don't use them but that's the point you need to learn what elements do i need so let's go to that there is a folder which i have a, a link let's say to a folder which is the essential thing because you want to learn about jwm and it's straight line to home eric here dot config jwm and then you start you to look and how to start is i think a good way to start right how to start what's if really in the beginning of the desktop this thing this is here to ensure that everything is everything you put behind run is started just once if you have a dual screen try out auto render horizontal otherwise it's going to be a more complex thing with x render and so on take a look at the examples in bspwm and awesome and so on you can maybe set your uh, uh, your your keys if necessary it's okay the keys are working i am i'm at this point in time in azerti so won't change anything but you might have done something wrong during the calamaris installation remember you can set it here as well this application is making sure you greet it 
ArcLex welcome app. Okay. This is for the cursor. This is for uh, the keyboard bindings. We have a look at that. Volume icon must be there. Volume icon is this. This is the Bluetooth. Again, the solution. I'm not going to make a video. Well, I can include a video. Why not? I can include a video for the Bluetooth, but um, the knowledge I mean then, but um, it's already three times online, I think. So voila, that's it. Now, next time the Bluetooth will be visible and not black against black. Um, so there was Bluetooth, volume icon was actually something else, it's this guy. Now it's interesting to know that the right mouse click opens the preferences, but more important for me, the mixer. It's a bad name because it's the volume, the Pavu control thing, right? So um, that's better. It's a bit big to my taste. Let's see if this, with Alt it works. And you see it just works with Alt. So left Alt, right mouse click, and then I can make it any size I want. So volume icon, variety is there. Um, the wallpapers, at this point in time, we have this new wallpaper, all right? And then applets is our network manager applet. So that's this little guy where you connect with VPN if you want to, if you need to maybe as well. Pan tray, use it guys. It gives you the insight of what's on your machine. What did the guys of Arc Linux put on my machine? What, what is this? Go and have a look. Okay, in Arc Linux, local pin, battle log screen, and so on. A GUI, Pi, Pi, Python, probably. Yeah, okay, and keep on learning. XFC Power Manager, so that's there for the laptops and to, for the guy for the, the screen to go um, dark and all that. XFC Power Manager. You can have a look at that as well. Control D, XFC, four. So lots of elements are from uh, XFC, and why? Because it's actually an interesting um, way. It, it's it's um, Lego blocks that are on their own. You don't need a complete desktop, like uh, often in Plasma. If I want to get something, some element from Plasma, you get the whole thing. And XFC is still really focused on on something right some some small things but not um other desktops so a better was power manager settings down there that's better so you can set these things these things help they work because of the power manager we started here we start a power manager and you set it the way you like it all right Ooh, I've been overwriting things. Control Z. These things happen. Eh? I know where eh? people start typing and ah, Control Save done. It's always backup. I mean, there is etc scal. The correct code is always in etc scal. Now you don't hear me say make a backup. It's always a good thing to say. Okay, I'm gonna fiddle with JWM. I'm gonna try to learn something. Control C, Control V doesn't hurt anybody doesn't cost anything you have your backup and you compare what have you have I changed in the meantime compare and learn that way that's how I would suggest you learn as well when we update when we update something we've changed something and the same way you can make a before we update before you update huh, make a copy then do an update do a scale and you get something new in this folder and then you compare what did we change it's a great way to learn. So Control Z, that's not what we need. NumLock is on. It depends if you have a small laptop when the the numbers are in between your letters. Maybe you like to have NumLock off. Blueberry tray. We've seen the color. This guy here. And Pykem. So Pykem is is Compton, the new name. And yes, we're using it. So yes, we'll have transparency and we have a little bit shadow see it already here when we have here here you see it very clearly the shadow so cool we have that as well and these guys are for pop-ups so i say ctrl alt e this is that line this is making sure somebody is going to ask hey what's your password that's the poll kit so 
um, what I would do if I were you, if you wanted to learn and you got some time, you just Google it and start reading. What's a poll kit? Policy. All right, notify things. Um, let's say uh, Spotify changes a number. Well, it's just gonna say, hey, gonna change the number. And it's up here normally in the right. It depends, you can set it, but often it's just in the right there. And these are all things you can run yourself. So next time I wanna start up with Firefox, it will boot up, right? Because every time I launch my computer, first thing I'm gonna do is open Tunar and open Dropbox and it's in sync everything. So that's the Google Drive application to sync. It's paid application. And you decide whatever you do, right? Spotify is immediately turned on and stuff. You can add more lines to it. All right, so that's your auto start. It's, it's meant to auto start. Great. What else? Now I have to think. Um, Maybe it's a good time to do a super F2. That's not possible. Let's let's do something. Oops, sorry. Let's do something else. I want to do something where I learn something as well. And you learn something. Have you seen this particular application? Code. I'm trying to learn code or Visual Studio Code. And what's interesting is if you have this folder, that's, that's the one we need to learn and then launch call code. So code should be in here somewhere, development, um, but I need to restart JWM and then code is in there. That's how it works, uh, but maybe not here, maybe somewhere else. Here is code OSS accessories, strange place, but nothing we can do. And then we do just drag this guy over here, boom. All right, and then we go, out to start. So we were talking about out to start. So I was thinking where to begin. So now I can quickly have a look. Um, nope, not gonna start here. Here is your PyCam. So that's all I need to say. Here is your Compton. It's working. A few things that are important. Either GLX or X render is important for you to change. Either you want shadow or you don't want shadow. And either you want some opacity, but then it works with 0 0.8, a point and fading true or false, a little bit slower than your computer because it needs to fade away the window. But hey, if you like that kind of thing. And here we have uh, the start, the theme and the tray. So the starts, here it starts probably, not probably, surely. So it says basically go and start that application, right? Start up, come out, do that. So. It's good thing that we started with that one first because that's the first one that gets kicked into gear. Now, the second one we need. Let me see. I thought I did not see it yet. So the keys are here. Here's the group. No, 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 no. Hmm. Let me read it a little bit slower. Here we go. So the menu, it starts then with the menu. Let's put you over here. Um, and then right mouse click, file manager, file manager terminal and here we have a application there are more applications but you have to choose what application will I use to create menus so XDG menu maker and some things behind it telling okay build me on the basis of user share application what's in there make me a menu that JWM understands so till here and then we have the JWM folder and the restart and the exit, the Arclinux logout application that's working. 
So that's basically our menu. Okay, and the keys are all the key bindings, but we tend to keep, of, we, we kept the key bindings of, of JWM here, but a few important ones are in here as well. So the D menu is always gonna be there, tuner is gonna be there. So things that we really need if, and now it comes, if this guy is not working, if the sexy hotkey demon, I always say that jokingly, but the simple X hotkey demon. If that guy, for some reason, because you typed in some gibberish somewhere, some something completely wrong, and the machine says, boop, I'm gonna crash. And then, of course, all your keyboard shortcuts won't work. So that's why the keys in here are the essential keys to ensure we can have to, uh, some, some file managers and terminals and all that. And this guy holds everything else. Atom, Inkscape, GIMP, Melt, VirtualBox, you name it, it's in here. It's a lot, a lot of keyboards. It's the same on all our 16 desktops. So that's easy. Learn it once and you've learned it for all desktops. That's the point. We are making all the desktops similar in keyboard shortcuts. Our fingers know, Super Shift D, our fingers know it's the D menu. And in Plasma, it opens also the Netrunner. So it's gonna do the same thing. All right. The groups are the guys in here, I think. X clock, drag, not title, termite, group, elements. The, we've changed the, 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 the look, the opacity. Maybe you like to play with the opacity. Uh, and some elements, if you want it centered or not, maximized and so on. So some um, references, some, some ways to define what kind of um, look, what kind of action we should do because of a class, in this case, the class of termites. So if termite is started, then you have this and have that and have that. All right, keys, menus have seen, preferences. We're filling it with the background wallpaper. So Fay is a very interesting little application. Doesn't require much. You ask yourself, what's Fay? Always go here. What's Fay? Fast and light, mm. lip based image viewer dependencies. Okay, these guys, um, optional for, that's our, uh, well, we use that kind of tool for article links. So here it is. It's a lot of share doc things, right? If you just look through it, it really is just this. That's it, and all the rest, you can count this as well in, because that's the desktop file. But all the rest is just, Nice to know, but it's not an application. So face setting all wallpaper. Cool, cool. Double click speeds, some elements. These things, aha. Uh -huh. Where do we find these things? Um, let's see. I believe we found it here. Yeah, cool. Straight where I want to be. And configuration documentation. What we did is read this. Okay. So read it again. What is sloppy? Go read what sloppy is. Mouse over to focus, click to erase. So stuff that's um, not explained, it's here. Just read it. You can change some more things, but basically we're good to go with all these settings. Okay, that's the start and that's the theme. So here we say some designer things that may, this, this may interest you and I've put in a link in here I see. HTML window link, so we can actually go and have a look at this particular code or URL. Let's take another page. So here it's, they start they, they start talking about the window styles, the clock styles, the tray styles, what's possible, what kind of tags, uh, yeah, they call it tags, what kind of tags they use and what can you use to change it. So. If not or is not your taste, try something else with four, etc. corners, five foregrounds, colors. So this is easy, right? It's colors. So if I've never seen anything like this, just put it in Google. It's a color. Want something else? How about this color? How about that color? This thing changes. That's the color. 
or the hexadecimal color. And that's what this is. It's an hex color, this guy. So lots of things to change for the clock, for the tray, for the task list, for the tray button, for the page styler, and all are references to elements in your toolbar here. They all point to elements. And we've pointed it to a particular icon path, but we have decided not to use it. Why? Because a lot of work, if you want to um, make this icon as well, it was not that uh, intuitive to make icons for this guy or that guy or that guy or so, and so on. This came in automatically, I believe. I still don't know. But then if this has icons and the others don't, I mean, well, no, why not keep it very slick and um, well, easy and fast to load as well, of course. So I think I am through it. The show desktop. There's this little line here. Maybe you're wondering what this thing is. So tray button label that one show desktop. Some spacers, the clock format is down here. Probably can make seconds with it, but that's a little bit um, too much, I think. So the Pycam toggle, that's something maybe you'd like to know as well. Uh, normally, let's have a look, Control-Alt-T. So that's transparent, right? I believe it is Control-Alt-O. Compton off and Compton on. So it's a little script that turns it on and on. Our um, Compton or Pycon. I should say Pycon. I should change the name. So that's that, guys. I don't know if I can tell anything more. Um, JWM is pretty straightforward. I believe we've covered everything. The scripts are here. The Pi wall is here. And that's uh, some help if you in VirtualBox don't see the resolution. But the set pyball, I don't know if we've done that. Let's see if we've done that. That should be Alt Shift U. So the pyball, I don't think it's uh, actually applied. Let's see if it's well. Actually, if you want to know if it's installed, you do remove. That's what I always say. So. Pi wall, how is it called again? Yay, Pi wall, this, I think it's something else. Let's see, Python Pi wall, okay. So I need to remove Python Pi wall, not Pi wall. It doesn't say that's installed, you see? Otherwise it would be say here, installed. So that's not installed. So we do an S. Voila, installed. Ah, and then it's working. So reminder, I'm gonna put Python Pywall on our system, on our uh, machine or ISO. So what happens really? It's not that important, really isn't. Uh, but it's in the beginning, you like it. It's, oh, nice. What happens is that this application is gonna look at the wallpaper you have and say, okay, I'm gonna mimic uh, the system here and let's try to just randomly is going to create colors right so everything is now like this in this color system when i do alt shift and then n for next i get a new wallpaper but also a new coloring scheme should be happening yeah it is happening so it's green and now it's this kind of color that kind of color some of them are similar, but you see even the terminal changes with it. And that's Pywall. Uh, once you've seen it, you say, okay, is that, is that all? Yes, that's all. But I make sure next version, so July, it's gonna be on the ISO as well. So that's it for me. I really don't know what else to talk about, except have fun. Learn a lot by reading a lot. You can always install more, you know that. If you say, nah, I'm gonna try another desktop. Well, there are 50 more to try out. But uninstalling is not that easy. Installing is, 
you know that in this time period ooh, we can't click here there's no date here we don't have it here it's just a clock um, this time period which is end of May 2020 there is no more issue with deeping clashing with other desktops so that's okay so you can start with deeping and install all the rest or install all the rest and then end with deeping it doesn't matter at this point in time so the grub images we can change this is the normal one you can change your grub image and say okay I'm gonna apply this guy but now I'm teaching well because I want to teach and well that's that's just a link tweet tool right that doesn't have anything to do with JWM the conky tohle maybe uh, we've seen it super C but did you know control alt and then page down okay what's that page down it's working 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 I think he's still working depends uh, sometimes these applications have Lua code and Lua code takes a while to kick in. This one takes also a while to kick in because it's now communicating with a weather computer server somewhere and um, he wants to have the data but the conkey is much faster than the web server. So this is my day and well it actually sunny is no don't see any clouds so I'm gonna back going to go back to the sun so ctrl alt w w uh, sorry not w ctrl alt uh, page down page up page down page up page down page up just do that and you see all kind of conkeys moving about it always depends conkeys are never 100 percent going to work on all desktops it really depends what the code is how the the timing the the, the desktop is approaching a conkey whether if you click on it if you click somewhere if it stays there if it's um, on top of everything or behind everything it always depends so just give it a try and maybe your own conkey that you like is gonna work just fine otherwise you need to go into the code and tell to the system hey this is JWM do this do that All right now I'm really am um, stretching time so guys this is it this is JWM I'm gonna make one video one big video with everything in it um, this is it I wouldn't know what to say anymore stay here and uh, remember the XFC settings anything that's XFC related should be set into XFC files we need to reboot and everything will be fine All right, don't see anything that I would um, like to explain. So I leave you with JWM and have fun.